Hi everybody, this is Dr. Renee Sunday. You know, this is Good Deeds again. We are on the move again. We're live from Atlanta, GA, that's the ATL. We're here at the pre-celebration of the black women in jazz. Isn't that amazing? Yes, I said the black women in jazz. And actually the award ceremony will be May the 2nd of 2014 here in the ATL. So you guys need to come to where? Atlanta to celebrate with us. We have some amazing people with us today, international artists. We have so many different vendors, different type of business that's with us today. And we bought it, yes, right to you, right on your iPad, your laptop, your computer, everything you want is coming right to you. And we're going to start right now, okay? Well, we have this wonderful international artist here with us today. I have, and don't bootleg it, you know what I feel about bootleg, okay? Please buy. We have this wonderful young lady here, and she's beautiful as well, can't you tell? And her name is T.C. Eckstein. She is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I can tell from her spirit that I can't wait to hear these songs. And I'm not going to lend it to you, we need to buy it, okay? <laughs> And welcome to Good Things. Thank How you, you doing all. today? I'm doing wonderful. Oh, it's so man. lovely to be here in Atlanta. And I'm just having a great time. Oh, great time. Amazing. This is like vacation for me. I've been oh, dying wow. to come down here. Oh, well, Atlanta is yeah. it's a place. Yeah. <laughs> No, I love it. I love Atlanta. It's a wonderful place. We have the Southern hospitality that actually goes yeah, with it. Yeah, I love that. I love yes. that. My dad was Southern. Oh, wow. Yeah, but okay. we, we all grew up in Massachusetts. I'm oh, from Springfield, Massachusetts, originally. Oh, wow. So, um, yeah, but I have a lot of relatives down south, and I haven't yes. seen them in a while. Oh, but this is a reunion yeah. for you then. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> now, tell us about your ministry. You have God has really gave you great purpose in life. Yes, so yeah. let us know a little bit about oh, yourself. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna, I'll give it to you with a little testimony. Let's oh, yeah. put it that way. <laughs> um, at 40 years of age, I was diagnosed with heart disease, and it's congestive heart failure. Mm. And the heart disease that I discovered I had runs in the family, but it was overlooked because my father died at age 55, but he had a history of drug abuse and alcohol. Mm -hmm. And I have an older brother who he developed it later in life for smoking. Mm. And um, so I'm the baby of the family. And when they discovered that I had it, then everyone kind of was like, oh my goodness, something's going on here. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. in the family is starting to come down with it. Or, you know. So um, I also have my degree in nursing. So I worked for 15 years as a nurse mm -hmm. and singing on the side. Oh, amen. <laughs> we, we always do two or three things, right? That's right. And amen. raise my and kids. And raise the kids. <laughs> That's amazing. And then I branched out on my own because um, I was with them for six years. Mm -hmm. And it just... God leads me where I go, yes, and I'm yes, doing so yes. many different things, and my son said, Mom, you can really write lovely stuff, and it wasn't until my grandchildren were born, I started writing, and I wrote my first song about my granddaughter's birth. It's oh, called wow. A Song for Sky, her yeah. name's Sky, and um, it's really devotional, inspirational, but uh, it became a hit, and everyone loved it, so I wow. kept on writing, yeah. mm -hmm. and then when I got together about a year's worth of songs, I started laying them out, recording mm -hmm. them and everything. Thing. And I was just very surprised that they became a success. So I'm still doing both, and it's like I'm, I have a whole new lease on life. Yes. I love what I'm yes. doing now. Yes. And I'm, I'm just going to keep doing that. <laughs> Amen. That's just amazing what you're saying. You know, we really believe in the Heart Association and all the people that actually try to educate us because you have to be educated first before you could actually make a plan and then you have to make a change. Uh, you guys know my story. My brother actually died from heart disease as well. He had a ruptured abdominal aneurysm which means a major vessel in his body just you know real literally had a hole in it and blood was going everywhere. But you know I know that he's enjoying heaven Amen. and the thing is he's not suffering. He's, he's not worried about the things that we're worried about. He's having a good time in heaven. So that's the good thing, but the things to do for the people here, we need to educate ourselves and we actually need to make a change to make our health better. But tell us in the last minutes here, um, how can we get in contact with you for the Heart Association information? If we need to book you to speak at an event that we have a health fair, our church, just to educate our people and also how we can get this wonderful music. 
Okay, well, my name is TC Eckstein Vocalese, and if you Google my name, most of the information comes up. But the CDs are available for purchase on CDBaby.com, and just type in my name, TC Eckstein Vocalese, mm -hmm. and uh, it's two CDs, the ones you have there, mm -hmm. those are the two, and they've won music awards for best jazz albums. Oh, wow. Um, wow. <laughs> Thanks. Congratulations. And um, also, they're available on ReverbNation.com. And um, you can order them through them, and they send them also with you know, a big biography inside and everything else. And um, but my email is T C E C K S T I N E sings S I N G S at gmail.com. And that's spelt like my grandfather Billy Eckstein because the stage name a lot of people don't realize, and you know, being we just had Black History Month, I feel great explaining this. I'm very proud of him. When he had to uh, play in the bands back in the 30s and 40s, the Cab Calloway area, mm -hmm. um, they weren't allowing African Americans like Josephine Baker and them to perform in certain spots, so they altered their name. So his stage name is spelled as S T I N E, but his real name is spelled just like mine is today E I N. So um, I chose to keep my name regular because. He, I feel he finally accomplished, you know, that standard of not being accepted, and he's overcome that, and he's made his name in a big mark in the African American community for, you know, jazz. And um, that's what I continue to do today. Is, you know, keep it going, and I, it's a big love of mine, and you know, I just love doing it. It's amazing. She's a bundle of joy. We just thank her for taking time out of her busy schedule to be with Good Deeds. And you guys, you know what I have to do now. We have to take a commercial break and we have to pay some bills, right? And I want you to pay your bills. Our goal here is to, of course, educate you, empower you, that you can make a change, that you can actually pursue your passions, and that will evolve you and prepare you to your purpose. Again, we thank you for being with oh, us thank today. You. My pleasure. And this is Dr. Sunday with Good Deeds. Hey guys, this is Good Deeds with Dr. Renee Sunday. Again, we're here live from Atlanta, GA. We're at the pre-celebration activities for the Black Women in Jazz. Yes, we're here. We have a nice young lady here with us, Ms. T. Cherie Miller. She actually has an image and wellness business. Isn't that amazing? She's going to tell us what we need to eat and not eat, okay? <laughs> now, you don't want to hear that, I know, of course, but we're here to give you the information on what you need to do is better yourself. And thank you so much, Ms. Miller, for being here Thank with us you today. Thank for having me. This is so much fun. Um, the image and wellness consulting company I have is called Nutrition, Fitness, and Stilettos. Um, our in, um, what we do is we work from the inside out. That's our model, working from the inside out. Um, so what we start off with is the inside, you mm -hmm. know, and it's not about being a size two, it's not about being a size four or six, mm -hmm. it's about being the healthiest you can be. Um, and so what does that entail? That entails eating the right foods. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean eating the right foods 24 hours a day, mm -hmm. but that's really the lifestyle change that you want to have. Mm -hmm. You want mm -hmm. to eat as healthy as you can mm -hmm. all the time. That means natural sugars. Mm -hmm. That means a lot of fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. That means um, the way you are cooking foods. You don't mm -hmm. want to fry your foods as much. You want to do more baking. And by the way, later on, I'm going to tell you my contact information where you can get my famous oven fried chicken recipe, which is awesome. Ooh. So, um, so it's about doing you know that we kind love of stuff. fried chicken. You know right? I love fried chicken, but I made a way so we can all eat uh, healthy fried chicken. Um, so, um, as um, nutrition, fitness, and stilettos, we do. Um, uh, healthy cooking, mm -hmm. we do pantry refrigerating makeovers, wow. and we also assist in grocery shopping. And uh -huh. um, with that, we show people how to read nutritional labels. Mm -hmm. We need to know what's in our food, people. Right, right. We re really need to know what we're eating. Mm -hmm. And we want to try to stick to whole foods versus processed foods. Mm. So that's what we do on the nutrition and fitness side. Um, the stiletto side, which is awesome, it's our image consulting um, side of the business. And um, this is where we dress up. 
Yeah. This oh, is wow. where we got you the know, inside like going. That. Yeah. And you look like you like it too. <laughs> oh, you look you. great. Uh -huh. um, so we like to dress it up. You uh -huh. know, we feel uh -huh. good on the inside. Why not show it on the outside? Wow. So wow. what we do is um, closet organiz organization. Mm -hmm. um, because being organized is really important. Mm -hmm. uh, we all go out and go shopping. Mm -hmm. And before we do all that and spend money, why not right. see what's in our closet? Shop That's in right. our own closets. That's right. Um, I also do special occasion um, mm. styling. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, just uh, personal styling mm. and you know what I feel is that people look at look at you right you know right. and you want right. to look good you want to give that you know first best impression that's right and so that's, that's right. what we do nutrition fitness and stilettos amen well you know you made a great point because a lot of times we do look good outside but we feel miserable inside yes I yes. mean and really it doesn't have to be like that. right especially from mental yes and, and just stress and things that we have on our plate yes amazing and but, I'm so glad mm -hmm. you said about the mental part um, because I really believe in the meditation you know, being mm -hmm. one with yourself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm not, ooh, ooh, but it's really yeah, yeah. important mm -hmm. to really get with your breathing and to mm -hmm. breathe and, and, to, and, and to meditate, you yes, know? And yes. that goes along with the eating great and the exercise and moving and getting off that couch. Mm -hmm. um, so it's all, it's all together. Yes, yes. But you know what, what a man think if, you know, we're eventually we're gonna put that in our heart and you know what in our heart, we're actually gonna walk it out. Yes. That we have to take charge of our lives. We have to do the right things because yes. someone is watching you. Yes, yes. I mean, it might, I might not be your kids, but right. someone is looking and said yeah. I want to be like that person yeah. but then if they see you doing stuff you don't supposed to be doing you know what we, you know what we're talking about yeah. okay yeah. and then if we end up eating so much that we feel terrible as well and you know and, and you brought up a good point mm -hmm. that someone is always watching and I do believe it is our children mm -hmm. our nieces our nephews mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. even our parents who are around you know and I think it's very important that um, um, that if you're eating right or you're trying to eat right or you're trying to have a better uh, healthy lifestyle um, if you're out moving and and trying to get that physical um, fitness in mm -hmm, mm -hmm. really your children and your family will follow yes, you know and, yes. and what you should do is make it a family event yes. so it's not so much about being on the diet it's not so much of exercising mm -hmm, until mm -hmm, you're mm -hmm, exhausted but mm -hmm. it's actually getting your family out Amen. walking the dog Amen. or going yes. to the park and just yes, having a walk yes. um, eating a healthy meal together mm -hmm. so you are teaching your children that's right how to eat um, that's right and and cooking and that yes. is very very important yes. cooking stop going to McDonald's I love McDonald's <laughs> but stop going to the fast food restaurants yes. and yes. cook yes that's so, important yeah. um, you made a great point of saying that well no, throw the word diet out of your yes. vocabulary yes. we need to make a mind change okay yes. oh I love that isn't it's that amazing exactly, exactly. but tell us how we can contact you so we can get some of this information yes and um, please go to my website at www.nutritionfitnessandstilettos.com um, um, and also, please email email me at tsheriemilla at gmail.com. And also on my website, you'll see um, my recipes. Um, you'll see wellness um, tips. Um, and you also see style tips. And all of the writing on my web website is my content. So I do all the writing. Amen. That's amazing. Yeah. She has a lot of gifts that's Thank stirring you. up. Amen. And I want to share them. Amen. Share them. That's important. Be able to share things that you can help somebody else. Yes. And this again, we thank you so much. Thank Ms. you for having me. This was so Miller. much fun. Oh God, for taking your time out your busy schedule. Thank you. And again, you guys, you know, it's, I'm Dr. Sunday and this is Good Deeds. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi you guys, this is Good Deeds with Dr. Renee Sunday and we're still live from Atlanta, Georgia. We're at the pre-celebration service of the Black Women in Jazz. And of course, we know that'll take place in May of this year. And you guys, please contact us so you can be at this awesome, awesome event that's about to take place. But we're here at the Health and Wellness Expo and we've learned so many awesome things. We have so many wonderful people that's international, that's local, that's here to educate us, empower us, that we can actually make a change to better ourselves. We have a beautiful, beautiful young lady with us today. Her name is Dr. Aisha McKnight Barron. She is, guess what, ladies? Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? She's a plastic surgeon. Mm -hmm. How beautiful she is. <laughs> I would want her to do anything on me because she has the right perspective. I mean, am I right? 
you'll know what we need to do <laughs> and not do. But anyway, I'm sorry. You know how I get you guys. Welcome to Good Deeds. How you doing thank today? Thank you. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. I'm great. Amen. I'm it's great. so wonderful to see you. Oh, thank you. Wow. It's so many times we want to talk and up and all of that. <laughs> but you can actually give us the real deal on what we need to Absolutely. do. And tell us a little bit about your practice. Um, so our practice is a practice located in Marietta, Georgia. It's a mm -hmm. suburb of Atlanta. And um, I, my partner and myself, Marcus Crawford, um, we do pretty much the whole range of plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. So we offer cosmetic surgery, um, minimally invasive and also invasive techniques, mm -hmm. um, which ranges from breast augmentations with implants, mm -hmm. breast reductions, tummy tucks, breast lifts, liposuction, um, buttock augmentation, the Brazilian mm -hmm. butt lift for mm -hmm. people who want a little bit extra back there. And then also um, we do Botox and fillers, facial mm -hmm. rejuvenation, facelifts, brow lifts, mm -hmm. eye lifts, to kind wow. of get you feeling as young as you once were or how young as you want to be. Mm -hmm. um, we also do a lot of breast reconstruction for mm -hmm. patients who've been affected by breast cancer, mm -hmm. um, which is one of my passions as well. Mm -hmm. um, we wow. do the full range of breast reconstruction services. So mm -hmm. we do implant reconstruction mm -hmm. and we also do reconstruction with using your own tissue either oh, from wow. your back or from your belly. Mm -hmm. So some patients can get uh, a benefit of a tummy tuck mm. and have their breasts reconstructed as well. Oh, wow. So it's a wide range. Plastic surgery is very, very broad, mm -hmm. but uh, we're well-trained and we're able to provide all the services to uh, patients that come and see us. Oh, wow. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. It's just, to me, medicine just evolves, evolves, evolves with technology. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing that we can actually, our body adjusts to the different from changes that we can do. Absolutely. Isn't that wow? Absolutely. It's great. And, you know, we have a lot of patients that have recently started to come see us for the mommy makeover. Oh. And so basically a lot of patients um, who are sort of middle-aged or, you mm -hmm. know, um, mm -hmm. either mid, late 40s or even 30s because the moms mm -hmm. are getting younger mm -hmm. and younger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but they actually come because they want to restore their bodies mm -hmm. pre-baby. Wow. And I think they deserve that. They yes, work very, yes. very hard to raise these children. Mm -hmm. And they want to feel like they, you know, once did before. And so a lot of that entails doing mm -hmm. a breast lift mm -hmm. or a breast augmentation. Because we know after patients breastfeed mm -hmm. um, that they can sometimes get deflation of their breast tissue. Mm -hmm. Or they inflation of their yes, breast yes, tissue. Some yes. people end up being larger afterwards mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but we can lift or reduce wow. breasts to kind of get them nice and perky and youthful as they were before and then also from the baby from the baby growing in your belly mm -hmm. a lot of people end up with stretch marks or extra mm -hmm, skin mm -hmm. or sometimes extra fat in other places they didn't wow. intend for it to go yes. and so what we do we can provide a tummy tuck for mm -hmm. that or also liposuction you wow. Know, so and, and so kind of get you You contour. telling me that we can get rid of the stretch marks too? You can only get rid of the stretch marks in the area that are below the belly button. So well, that a help girl. Yeah. <laughs> it will it will reduce it will reduce the majority of wow. the stretch, stretch marks that are visible. But you know, we really want to get, you know, women to feel good about themselves mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. the inside and out. We start from the outside mm -hmm. and then we kind of have the inside feel better with great results. Right. But of course this go all the way back a little bit. You actually do have an office visit and you talk oh, to them absolutely. and all that before oh, to get the plan because everybody's absolutely. plan is a little different right every every patient is different we tailor a customized plan for each patient mm -hmm. and what their needs suit what needs suit mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. so some patients you know may not need one thing some do mm -hmm. and so we kind of uh, my consultations I normally meet a patient at least two times to oh good, wonderful good, to wonderful. build a good relationship mm -hmm. with them mm -hmm. and really give them as much information as possible mm -hmm. so that they go into surgery make a very well-informed decision because wonderful, wonderful. you want to feel good about what you're paying for as yes, well. Yes, right, know? right. Well, tell us how we can contact you. And okay. then, of course, you know, we have a lot of listeners that's not in the Georgia, Atlanta area. Mm -hmm. Let us know if we, anybody, <laughs> if you take people out of state as well. Mm -hmm. Well, you can reach me at our website, CrawfordPlasticSurgery.com backslash Dr. McKnight Barron. Um, you can go to the website and there should be a page that links you directly to me or also my partner, Dr. Marcus Crawford. Um, in addition to that, uh, our telephone number is 770-794-6643. 
you can give us a call to schedule your consultation. As of right now, our, my consultations are free of charge. Yeah, great, um, for great. our out-of-state patients, we can do e-consultations or phone consultations. So we can uh, contact, you guys can contact us, we can schedule a time mm -hmm. so that I can set aside to have a phone consultation with the patient, mm -hmm. and then they can send us their photos that they take at home oh, wow. over our secure internet browser, so mm -hmm. they're not floating, <laughs> floating all around <laughs> okay. and ending up on a Facebook yeah, yeah, page. Oh, man. <laughs> we have a very tough firewall. Oh, great, great, so, great. Um, they can send us pictures, I can review it almost as mm -hmm. if the patient was there, oh, wow. and they filled out, fill out a questionnaire so that I get uh -huh. a little bit of information on them. And um, then we wrap up the consultation. Oh, wow. Isn't and develop a plan. And develop a plan. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing, you guys? Mm -hmm. See, we. You know how we do it here on Good Deeds. We give you information that you can, we can take care of yourself from inside out, and we can do what? Outside in. Yeah. And we just thank you so much for taking time out your busy schedule. Thank this you. beautiful, beautiful plastic <laughs> surgeon. It's amazing because we want to see how, be how beautiful you are so we can actually be beautiful as well. Aww. But amazing. You know how I laugh and cut up you guys. But well, again, this is Ms. Uh, Dr. McKnight Barron. And you guys, please contact her. Share her information if you have anyone that wants to this type of service, plastic surgery. It's not the myth that we've heard that we're afraid of. It actually can be done, as she said, a well plan. And actually, it will suit your needs and not be a plan that's for everybody. And affordable. And affordable. Uh oh <laughs> you know what I say about that, you guys. You know, that's a tweetable, being affordable, okay? <laughs> but this is, again, this is Good Deeds with Dr. Renee Sunday. Thank you so much. Thanks. Hi, you guys. This is Good Deeds with Dr. Renee Sunday. We're still live here at the pre-celebration activities of the Black Women in Jazz. And you guys, we have another beautiful young lady with us. We, oh, I just can't, I can't even put it into words. I'm going to just stop talking. We're going to introduce her so she can tell you the wonderful, wonderful things she's doing in her life. This young lady, her name is the Soul Stringer. Isn't that amazing? I just, the, the sound of the name just make you just bubbly, just hearing the name. But you are beautiful just like your name, and thank you so much for joining us at Good Deeds. Thank you for having me. Well, she's so beautiful, isn't she? But tell us a little bit about your ministry. This is just so amazing. This is new for me, especially with the Afro-American women doing this. And I'm sorry if I'm slow with knowing this, but I'm just so excited. I'm excited too, you know, especially being a part, of, a part of Black Women in Jazz, but I've been a violinist for over 30 years. Wow. Um, I started out in elementary school mm -hmm. in Detroit, Michigan, where I was born and raised, mm -hmm. and um, I took private lessons. I auditioned for my first symphony when I was in middle school, mm -hmm. and uh, I played with the symphony my whole life. Um, it wasn't until I became an adult that I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. try other genres of music. but. Um, I stopped playing music for a long time, for a little bit, you mm -hmm. know, motherhood and raising mm -hmm. children mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. And what got me back into the music was uh, several diagnoses. I have mm -hmm. a lot of health problems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, lupus, Sjogren's, mm -hmm. fibromyalgia, mm -hmm. brain nods, you know, chronic migraines, mm -hmm. biliary cirrhosis of the liver, T cell lymphoma. Wow. You know, just the list kept growing. Yes, yes. Know? So instead of like getting down in the dumps about where mm -hmm, I was, mm -hmm. you know, you get these diagnoses and the normal reaction is why, then yes. the, the second yes. reaction is anger, and then yes. it's like, okay, well, what do you do now? And I was determined in my mm -hmm. mind to get a source of happiness from somewhere yes. while I was yes. here. Yes. So I, the, what was my go-to thing? The mm -hmm. thing that always made me happy mm -hmm. was music. Yes. So yes. I picked my violin back up. Wow. And once I did that, it just... It, everything changed. Not mm -hmm. only was I healing myself, but I was healing others. Mm -hmm. So it just it became the catalyst for me wanting to encourage and empower and inspire other people, regardless of what was going on in their right. lives. Right. You, you right. can't just live. You have to thrive. You have yes. to strive to do the things yes. that bring you joy. That's you have right. to eke out happiness in this life yes. some kind of way, yes. Yes. no matter yes. what. So that's 
the main purpose of what I do. A musician with a purpose is what I call myself. Oh, wow. That's amazing. You said some wonderful things there. And you have to realize a lot of things that we go through, and it's hard. I'm being honest, transparent here. It's hard to realize when you're going through a difficult situation that why is this happening? The questions you ask, why? I can't get through this. But you know, when you get through those situations, you will realize that you went through that for somebody else to actually help and assist somebody and heal somebody else through a, some similar situation that you've been through. And isn't that amazing? I see the passion and I feel the passion, you guys. And I know you guys feel this as well. The passion that I can hear in your voice that you really, or it's your purpose. I, absolutely. And I didn't know what that was mm -hmm. uh, for a long time. I thought I knew. Mm -hmm. And um, the funny thing is, I'm a painfully shy person. Mm -hmm. I never wanted to be the center of attention. I mean, doing symphony work, you're on the stage with a hundred other people. <laughs> Who cares about you? Nobody's yes, thinking yes. about you. And I love that, mm -hmm. you know. I grew up, I was the only girl. I had six brothers. I was, you know, <laughs> it was a house full of folks. Nobody was thinking mm -hmm. about me. Mm -hmm. I was always somebody's sister. So, yes, yes. You know, I didn't have my own identity and so now it's, it's about me and I try to take that focus off of me any way I can. Mm -hmm. It's not about me, it's about everybody else. Yes. It's about the people that I'm trying to re reach. Wow. Which is why they call me the soul stringer. Mm -hmm. When I play that instrument, it, I don't think people realize how painful it is, first of all, to even hold a violin for me mm. with the illnesses that mm -hmm, I have. Mm -hmm. But when I'm playing, I don't even think it's me playing for real. Wow. But, you know, I have to dig so deep down mm -hmm, to do it. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I'm trying to dig deep from within you. Mm -hmm. It's just like a soul exchange. Wow. You know, so my goal was to use my instrument as a voice. Mm -hmm. You know, while I'm out doing what people view as entertainment, I'm educating mm -hmm. people. Wow. I'm talking about lupus. I'm mm -hmm. I'm talking about autoimmune diseases. I'm talking and telling them that there are over a hundred autoimmune diseases mm -hmm. that are listed. I'm telling them that diabetes is an autoimmune disease because nobody's telling yes, them that. Yes, yes, yes. So my goal is to stop the whispering about, yes, yes. Oh, did you hear so-and-so had? Yes. No, we're going to yell about this oh, and wow. make sure that this community mm. knows what we're dealing with. That's amazing. That's amazing. We want, oh, wow, this is just very powerful. Let, let us know how we can actually listen to your wonderful okay. ministry. This is amazing. Well, um, I'm all over social media. If you Google the Soul Stringer, you'll definitely find me. But I'm on Facebook, Twitter. Um, I have my website. It's pluckastring.com. So if you go there, you'll find me. You'll hear music as well. There's music there for you to listen to. I also maintain a blog on my website. Wow. And okay. um, just I just share stories about my own life, and I try to make it kind of funny so that you know the struggle but you're not scared of it and mm -hmm. you know just my survival story it's called random rents of a loopy lady <laughs> so um hopefully you'll enjoy that as well so um i definitely am open to anyone questions if you find me feel free to send me any type of message mm -hmm. you like with questions concerns i do help with resource information oh, wow. so feel free to reach out to me i'm definitely open mm -hmm. for that that, that is very powerful that she actually has a humble spirit that she's willing to help someone else, even through resources, even through her music. And you know what? That is actually the reason that we're here. We're actually here to help somebody else. And you know, when you have that spirit of being transparent, if you will, that actually makes your life being worthwhile. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> See, we don't realize that. But again, you guys, this is the Soul Stringer. And please look her up to contact her. Uh, she can come to your events, you know, okay? Absolutely. And we can actually continue this ministry that we have here at Good Deeds is to help somebody else. You know, always believe and trust. And of course, walk it out. This is Dr. Renee Sunday with Good Deeds. Be good. Hey everybody, I'm the Soul Stringer and one of the performing artists at the Black Women in Jazz Awards Ceremony. Just wanted to take an opportunity to invite you all out on May 2nd to the Rialto Center for the Arts at Georgia State University at 7 p.m. Um, you can go to the website at bwijawards.com. You can view all the other artists that are listed there. You can see who's performing, see who's nominated, and hopefully you all will come out and see who wins. Um, again, that's the Black Women in Jazz Awards Ceremony at the Rialto Center for the Arts at Georgia State University. Um, that's May 2nd at the Rialto Center for the Arts. I hope to see you there.